is Twine Liberty, and you're watching Jay Cotto's boxing page. Come back to boxing, baby. That is the most spectacular one punch shot of many Pacquiao's. And you may hear it. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Guys, there's nothing like boxing, and there are no athletes like fighters. What's up, fight fans? I'm Jay Cotto, and welcome to Jay Cotto's Fight Page. And tonight I'll bring you the Canelo Khan aftermath. And um, before I start off, I hope everybody enjoyed the fight card. Uh, you know, I'd like to say congratulations to Frank Gomez, uh, Mauricio Herrera. I would like to say uh, valiant effort, and you did pretty good, regardless of the uh, 301 day, uh, you know. Uh, layoff that you had simply because you know you was waiting for Matisse and everything. Uh, trust me, we understand you'll bounce back, but um, you know, hashtag come back to boxing, you'll definitely come back. Um, also, Dave Lemieux, you know, uh, you might as well call him Dave the Mule because that motherfucker was swinging today at Tapia. I mean, Tapia did a brand, uh, valiant effort. Uh, you know, I I'm glad that the ref definitely stopped it. The way he did at the time he did because that kid was hurt uh since round two you know um man lemieux was hitting like fucking julian jackson julian the hulk jackson he was hitting just like that you know what i'm saying bad intentions and man i tell you you know uh, he you know he 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 won a strap and um I, I'm just I'm just glad, you know that he 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 made his statement you know uh Tapia definitely will come back, you know um he got knocked down for the first time in his career, uh which is a good look for Lemieux, or Dave the Mule, <laughs> the motherfucker it's like a fucking sledgehammer but uh you know congratulations to those guys and uh thank you very much for those fights and now let's head to the uh canelo con match now holy shit before i start i just gotta say that uh and want to point out as well no one stood on the official uh, weight scale you know that's something to really investigate and look at because if uh you got you know champions going around saying that uh they're really not middleweights but then they don't jump on the official weight scale for the night hmm. Well, HBO asked before the fight, who would have thought three months ago that these two would meet up? That, fight fans, is the wonder of all wonders. If you can't read in between the WBC and what's a weight tournament and this, well, nothing else I can tell you. You got to wake up. I have to say that HBO was pulling Canelo's card and pressing the 155 pound issue against uh, you know uh, Triple G when it came to you know when they had uh, asked and were talking about the Triple G on the uh, fight card on an interview and uh, Jim Lampley and Triple G asked and answered the questions we wanted. That's how I feel, you know. Uh, Jim Lampley then proceeded to break down Canelo's road to winning his WBC crown from Cotto when he mentioned Cotto cherry-picking Martinez, knowing that Martinez had a knee injury. And most won't like that statement, but it's the truth. Hashtag come back to the box. You know what I mean? Now, in the fight, you know, round two... Canelo made, made uh, or should I say Khan made Canelo miss, and Khan wanted to touch gloves afterwards, or you know, with some clinching that they did, and Canelo lifted him up, or whatever, but uh, there was no response from Canelo. So Canelo was basically frustrated. Now, I didn't see Canelo land 25 body shots like they said. 
you know, the head the headshot percentage on Khan's behalf was a bit more accurate. Uh, Canelo basically by round six just wins by KO, devastating in uh in round six once again. And I had predicted, okay, he would slip up. And he lost before the rounds. I actually predicted, um, because I said that uh, he would slip up. You know, uh, you know, he had he had his left down, and I said he would slip up between the rounds of six, seven, and eight on my last video, which was the prediction video. Uh, if you don't believe me, check it out. I said uh, mid rounds. I said he would slip up, and uh, actually got one of the rounds right, which was six. You know, um, you know, Khan is known to do that. You know, as soon as he's he knows he's up and he knows that he's catching you. He knows that, you know, he's doing everything that he can, you know, to outpoint you because that's all he can really do. Well, he starts getting cocky. Um, now, can I ask the Canelo fans a question? Congratulations to Canelo as well. Um, do you still justify Canelo fighting at a 155 catch weight or possibly heavier tonight? Um holding a 160 strap because there was no official weight scale for the numbers all of a sudden, mysteriously. And uh, Triple G was at ringside. And the question is, do you or don't you not want the Triple G fight? Do you want to see your WBC champion unify with Gennady Golovkin, a.k.a. Do you want him to test himself at 160 and defend his title against Golovkin and Unify? The only missing piece, if any of these gentlemen were to unify or try to unify, would be Daniel Jacobs. Max Kellerman asked Canelo twice if he would fight Triple G. He made a statement and ducked the question by saying he would fight him at that moment. He wanted Golovkin to put the gloves on at that moment knowing that that would not be a sanctioned fight and that would not rock. What does that sound like to you, fight fans? Not trying to switch your mind and not trying to give, but what does that sound to you, honest? What does that sound like to you, honestly? Abel Sanchez said after the fight, and so did Mauricio Suleiman, the WBC president, days ago. Okay? The WBC president, that Canelo and camp has 15 days to respond to the Golovkin camp and negotiate a fight. If not, the fight goes to a purse bid. 30 days later. Security held Gennady away from the ring as soon as he proceeded, okay, to approach the ring. When Canelo said, there's no more time to fuck around. I'll leave you with Gennady Golovkin explaining what happened when he approached the ring, if you don't believe me. My name is Jay Cotto. Thank you for joining my fight page. God bless. Stay vigilant. Good night. Frustrated at all? No, I am not very no, just he said just he's ready to fight. Of course, you know he has a big brain. Were you surprised he told you to get in the ring? I'm not surprised, no, just like once you're in everybody like that's good. Like, oh no, 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 just Oh they were yeah, they were acting like that to you when you got in the ring? Of course, yeah, no one. It's okay. Mm -hmm. No, I have Days for business, for plan, um, I think possible. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Props to ES News. Peace.